finally it's here IG11 let's have a closer look GK421 why aren't you at your post because I'm busy buying collectibles sir that's right busy buying collectibles and I bought this ages ago um, just arrived today it's supposed to arrive on the coming Monday but it arrived a few days earlier so Sideshow will take a while to get the figures in, but DHL are so fast, it's, it's amazing. So shout out to them. So let's get this plastic bag off. And let's have a quick look at the uh, the box. There you go, TMS008 IG11. Looking good, picture of the figure. With the light up function. And here's the art inlay, looking good. Another picture of the figure. And here he is all wrapped up, safe and sound still. So let's get him out of the box. A quick look at the accessories first. So here's uh, his bandolier that comes separately from the figure. Looking good. The first of two blasters, so we, I'm going to have him holding both, I think. Ah, this looks good, like a machine gun type thing. And then the uh, standard E11 blaster. I've seen that before, I think, now. And we have this little thing here, which is the, uh, oh, the, the detonator into it when he, he comes out of his chest. And he's about to blow himself up. And the stand IG11. I don't mind the um, the sandy footprint thing on the top. I'm not, I know there's been a few complaints about that, but I'm not too fussed. And then the waist grabber. All looking good. And that's it for the accessories. Let's take a look at the figure itself. Still got the plastic on. Let's start getting this plastic off. So there's a close up of the face, I was gonna say face and head. Each each little bit of this um you can twist and turn it however you want really. And obviously infinite amount of configurations you could have this in. Plastic off the arms. So I think same with the arms, I think these can turn any way around. Just got to be careful with the joints to get the plastic off the legs. So you can bend it and then twist it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be too rough with it. I don't want to break it. Uh, does that twist? Yeah, I can twist it all the way around. That's pretty cool. Well, 360 degrees. That's amazing. And then each little finger on the hand is you can then articulate them. Again, I'm going to be a bit careful with it. All the piping on there, it's amazing. Is the knees? Yeah, knees, knees bend. Twist at the ankle, the legs twist. And the ankle swivels on it. So quite a lot of articulation on this. You could, like I say, you could have it as look at the detail on the back as well. The canisters, all that, all the detail on it. It's amazing. And like a kind of rust, rust effect on it. But yeah, the amount of posing options is pretty incredible. Uh, but yeah, I like, I like museum pose obviously, so I, I'm sure I could get a decent pose out of it, but we'll have to see what, what we can come up with. So let's try and get the batteries in this then, the uh, detonator thing. Um, it's just a normal, I've seen a lot of people asking what 
what screwdriver to use for these. I use one of these, it's just like a micro micro screwdriver um, PH0 size on it. Uh, it's just perfect for that size of screw. I use these for model building sometimes. So, so then this, this chest bit just pops out and there's a little um, magnet in the cavity of the chest uh, which this bit just pops into like that and there you go about to explode I don't think it actually explodes obviously it just flashes like that and it's just easy enough to just pop out again turn it off and there's another battery compartment in the head uh, and a switch just take that off another screw again let's get the batteries in the top bit as well And there he is, all fully lit up. <laughs> Look at that, it's cool. Even like in this bright kind of light, it's um, you can still see the still bright LEDs. And don't know how long the batteries are going to last, but pop that off, turn that off for now. Yeah, impressed with that. Don't think I'll be displaying him with the chest thing on though, because I want to put the bandolier on. So I'll take that out. Right, let's try and get this on quick. Um, just Velcro at the back, I think. Yeah, just peel that off. Take it off the card. Take it top of his head off. And then you just slide it over his arm and over the top of his head. And then spin him around and just Velcro it all back together. So, pretty easy. No issues with that. And then from the front, looking good. So let's get him on the turntable, have a quick spin round. And just simple pose with his uh, machine gun type thing, put his lights on. Uh, I really liked IG-88, obviously from Empire Strikes Back, and obviously this is the best. Well, it's the only sort of a, it's the first droid up on oh no, K2SO was the first droid I got, but this is this is as good as K2SO I reckon. Um, if you're still on the fence about picking him up, I think this will go the same way as K2SO, and it'll become really really popular and really really expensive. So get it while you can. So here's him like holding both blasters, but one facing the other way and one facing the other way, the opposite direction. Um, the articulation allows allows that to happen and it's dead easy to set up. Um, it just looks ace. So you can do like the scenes where he's spinning around and shooting in all, all different directions at the same time. Loving it. So I hope you like that uh, quick look at IG-11, close up look. Just leave us a comment if you're getting it or you've already got it. What do you reckon? Do you, do you agree with me? It's like a, I'd say it's 10 out of 10, easily 10 out of 10 figure. Uh, brilliant, can't wait to just get it on the shelf next to Mando. Um, yeah, so drop us a comment, give us a like. And if you want to um, see more videos of Star Wars related hot toys, uh, subscribe and click the bell notification because there's going to be more videos incoming. See you later.